Less than two weeks to the deadline to sign up for health insurance. And one in three Americans who don't have coverage say they don't plan to get it. Most are telling Jacqueline Allen the price is the main issue. What does EHB mean? Confusion. Frankly, I don't know what that means. While Jill Goldstein shops Colorado's healthcare mm. marketplace. I'm not really understanding. The Parker resident and her 17-year-old oh, son are uninsured. And the more than $300 monthly That's premium she found is too high, especially with a $9,000 deductible. Do you think you'll try to get insurance before March 31st? I'm not going to rush to. She's not alone. A survey published this week by Bankrate.com shows one in three uninsured Americans intend to stay uninsured, most saying it's too expensive. I think a lot of people don't understand what's available to them. Connect for Health Colorado CEO points out 70 percent of uninsured surveyed didn't know they may qualify for subsidies to cut costs. Single people making up to $46,000, two people making up to $62,000, and a family of four making up to $94,000. So it really is a pretty broad array of people who can take advantage of the lowering of these monthly premiums. Because certainly people are only going to do what they have to do when they have to do it. That's just human nature. Healthcare so experts say the penalties for putting off coverage may Vermont's not be stiff enough for people simple. to really pay attention. Despite high profile help centers like this one on the 16th Street Mall and a multi-million dollar marketing campaign, survey says not even half of uninsured realize the deadline is March 31st. What am I getting for it? And even for those who do, like Goldstein, paying a small penalty and hoping for good health are risks she's willing to take. In Parker, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Sure, it had political motivations for not getting their coverage. 17% citing opposition to the Affordable Care Act. And 13% saying that they are healthy and they don't need coverage.